All right, so today we're going to change the radiator on this uh, Audi A6 C6. So that's the model. So I have the clips here. This also is for the intake. The shroud right here, you see. So it's just tabs, but they're pretty tough, so don't worry pulling hard. The uh, T30, okay, it is T30. This one is less long, it's neat. Shroud from the side. This, because we're gonna need some space for the coolant line, for the transmission line. It's a 10 millimeter, another here. So three in total on each side. So we're gonna turn the steering wheel. So let's try T25, it is. So you have to remove this one, this one, and there should be some taps here because after that, we're gonna be able to reveal uh, a nut behind the saw. I'm gonna do the other side. See here, behind the line, there's a bolt. So, so now we have, we do have the headlight washers. So we're gonna have, when pulling out the bumper, we're gonna be careful of the uh, of the hoses that is attached to it. it. Should be a 10 mil. So I'm gonna try some extensions to see how much distance I need. Just like this is enough. I use an electric racket. Always simpler. Like this. There you go. So you're gonna see the nut. It's gonna stay. It's gonna stay in, and then use the magnet. Like this. This way you're not losing it. So now we're gonna pull the bumper out. We should be able to. Oh wait! Don't forget the um, metal tabs. This one here. Use a flathead or a 25 cents a coin. This one here. Lift up the bumper, pull out like this. So you see, it's another one like this. If you do this, you that, or you pull this like this. This one has the wipers. So there's a tab here, plastic tab. Just lift it up like this. Make sure you don't lose this ring. Like this. Connect. Oh, and then we're gonna start losing. Pull it out like this. We'll get the whole bunker out. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm gonna also change the fog lights for LEDs. So to remove it, use a wrench, a ratchet. 
a wrench on top. These are long bolts can come out. Put them back together. So you remember. these shrouds in order for us to have access to the condenser bolts behind it so these are t20 there's another right here So I have to remove this one here. This is uh, one of the, it should be a, it looks like a transmission or power steering cooler line from what I see. So there's another bolt here holding it, holding the bracket. So it should be T30. This too, the horn. It's like plastic, plastic uh, T30. You don't have to remove completely the plastic tabs, as you can see I'm just like doing this, like this, hanging it by the uh, power steering cooling line. It's because we have to have access to the T30s, because we have to loosen it from the, we have to loosen the AC condenser, remove it, and then we have, we're going to have access to the radiator. So here is a clip for the top hose, right here, just lift it up using a, once again, an angle thing and this just pull out, but make sure to have a bucket ready. So this is why it was stuck, you see all these gunks.
with some oil. So there's two O-rings on this one, kind of. This is engine oil. So I'm going to use a pry bar and we go it out. I'm going to push it and pull it. some tabs here. There's a rubber. Make sure they're in good condition. Yeah, they are. There's one here, one here. Make some extra space. Just a tiny bit more. Which is enough for us to take out Make sure they're seated on each side. Just pop back in. Yes. You should hear a clip. Okay, so you see, this has to go back to its initial place. Back the oil cool line first. So it goes through one of the brackets and then like this. There's a tab for you to align, and it's at the bottom. See, there's a tab here for you to align, and it's toward the bottom. Pull the hose right, right here. You have to align. The tab is on top, and after you align it, put it back in, and then clip it back. The top, well, the tab is toward the floor, but the clip is on top. Plug it in, and then to the maximum, and then wiggle it in, and then clip it back.
goes over it. See, it goes over it. Alright, so the way I put back the bumper, uh, don't forget to put back the intake, the shroud of the intake. There's a small filter right here. I, what I did was I hooked up the fog light first at the bottom and then I raised it. And when I went up, as I went up, I connected the connector for the, I believe, for the corner lights. There was one connector right here. Actually, in total, there's two here, a fog light and the connector for the corner lights. And as you can see, I put, put it back in. And this part, I, I still lose because I have to connect back the uh, headlight washers before put, putting this back. And you have to align this bolt, this metal bolt right here with the, 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 the fender. And that's how we do it. And put back the, the screws and you should be okay. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope it helped you guys to give you an idea. It's not so bad to change the radiator on the Audi A6 C6. Um, it's just you have to remove a lot of stuff before you can access to the radiator itself and uh, you have to be careful because sometimes you have to pry uh, the hoses, the tubings and stuff like that and it's a bit dangerous in my opinion and the plastics and rubber tend to crack with time it gets hard and it, get, it can easily damage it but it's not so bad this job so thank you guys for watching and I hope you, it helped you uh, and have an excellent day guys. Thank you. Bye. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind.